What's up chicas? Welcome back to my channel. Francis Michelle here. Super excited to be recording this video for you guys. As you all know by the title, this is my pregnancy update. A lot of you guys were requesting an update on my pregnancy. A lot of you guys messaged me on Instagram questions about pregnancy and all that and I'm here to record that video for you guys. So I'm excited that I'm finally able to record it and give you guys my pregnancy update, how I've been feeling, how many weeks am I, what my belly looks like at this point, and my maternity, pregnancy slash essentials, I will say, things that I've been using for my pregnancy, um, things that I feel like um, I needed on my pregnancy and I can't live without it, and they're amazing, making your life a little bit easier, I would say, um, or making, it your, making yourself feel a little bit more comfortable, I would say, so yeah guys, if you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure you sit, hit the subscribe button right down there. Hit it, hit it before we jump into this video. So you guys wanna see what I've been feeling, what is going on with me and my pregnancy wise, and what are my pregnancy essentials, all you have to do is keep on watching. with a pregnancy update on how I've been feeling, how many weeks am I, and all that. So, uh, I'm recording this video today. I am actually 22 weeks pregnant, and that will be five months pregnant. And I'm just like thinking, wow, I don't look five months pregnant, and but it has felt like I've been pregnant for so long because I became pregnant, like, well, not became, but kind of gave the, 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 the news of, I broke the news that I was pregnant together with a couple of bloggers also that I saw on Instagram like oh this one's pregnant oh my gosh she's pregnant too and then all of a sudden here they are like already given birth and already like eight months and I'm here like wait a minute I don't, what, what happened I'm, I'm weren't we like the same weeks and all of a sudden now I'm like left behind and I'm here kind of going back did I miss weeks <laughs> but no I have not missed weeks guys I am 22 weeks pregnant and I'm going to show you what my five month belly looks like can you see it? It's just that I have black on. Here we go. That is what my five month be belly looks like. Where is it? I can't see it. I can't see it. But yes. Uh, it's there. It's, it's very low. He's hanging very low. I am having a boy. For if you guys don't know. I'm having a boy. I already have two boys. So this will be my third boy. Uh, God just decided to bless me with wieners and <laughs> little tiny balls everywhere <laughs> so but i've heard a lot of people say girl you're truly blessed boys are super easy um it's not saying that girls are not a blessing everyone is a blessing i am a girl hello but they say that uh, boys are way 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 easier than girls so i already have two boys i kind of know what to expect and what to do so as of my second trimester which that's what we are in five months I have been feeling way, 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 way better than my first trimester. Um, if you guys checked out my last uh, pregnancy related video, I think it was an update also on my pregnancy, first trimester. Um, I did say that my first trimester was the worst trimester I had in all my pregnancies. I've had two, this is my third pregnancy. My first trimester was really bad. So this second trimester has been very, different from the first one and I've had energy. The, the problem with me is that I have a, I kind of developed a condition which I'm still praying about it that is, it's a false um, um, diagnosis. I did my, according to my doctor, I, I have the beginnings of fibromyalgia and if you don't know what fibromyalgia is, it's just a condition that triggers your, um, your muscles and your, um, and your, uh, what they're called, their, your, Oh, I, I don't remember. I'll put it right down here what it what it kind of is. So you kind of get back pains. You kind of get pain just like doing your hair. Um, every every area of your body that connects the bones and the muscles hurts, and it kinda, it gives you more pain. Um, you get tired easily. You get fatigued speaking. So that normally alone is my condition. But then when you're pregnant, you get tired. You get fatigue, you get all, all sorts of things. So when you combine the pregnancy and the fibromyalgia, it kind of takes it to a level where people are just like, wow, I can't believe 
you're going through that situation so hard so i do have that condition and so pregnancy has been a little harder on me um the ligament stretching the pain is worse um fatigue wise oh my god sometimes i'm thinking to my husband like me recording a video is kind of hard but i'm trying to push through so um I have been feeling a little bit fatigued, a little bit tired, but that comes with pregnancy and when you're tired, if you're pregnant and you're tired, you have to give yourself that 30 minute um, nap during the day to be able to work through. It's okay, you're growing a tiny human being inside of you, you can spoil yourself, you can definitely take your naps if you have, if you're not working, because if you're working, it's, it's harder. But as of energy wise, I've been feeling a lot better. Um, my skin has been acting up like crazy. I have never experienced any breakout on my skin, like any rashes or anything like, like, like very sensitive. And I am, I've been experiencing so many things on my skin. Like I develop a skin rash, a skin reaction all over like the area of my bra. And um, it's really bad. It's like a rash and and I've been taking creams for it and all that and I'm like oh my god and then the Florida heat doesn't help it so um, yeah I've had struggles guys it has not been pretty it has not been like easy that's why I haven't been able to take a lot of pictures and post it on Instagram so you guys can see like my belly growing or like fashion or whatever because honestly it's been a little hard for me I do have strength sometimes to go out but then when I go out and do groceries that's it I'm done I need to come home rest and lie down so yeah, I have a little more energy than I had on my first trimester because my first trimester I couldn't even I couldn't even get myself up from bed. There was days that I couldn't even shower because I just couldn't. I was just I felt like everything was being drained out of me. So now in second trimester, I do have a little bit more energy. I can do my hair. I can I got my nails done finally. Um I got I put on my hair extensions, I do my makeup, I record for you guys. So I do have a little bit more energy, but I'm not 100% there yet. But I'm trying to enjoy the second trimester because they say that on third trimester, like you start feeling more tired, you start feeling more fatigue. And I'm like, I've been feeling tired and fatigue all ever since my body found out that it was pregnant. You know what I mean? So, um, appetite wise, guys, I don't know why it's starting to decrease. I was I was like eating burgers left and right and meat and burgers and give me this and give me that and all of a sudden my appetite is starting to decrease. I was googling it on bump and babycenter.com and it says that some women tend their appetite tend to start decreasing a little bit on the second trimester because of all the hormones changing and everything. So with my appetite, I've been seeing it that it's been going downhill from now. And I'm like, no, I started underweight. I've always been underweight. I started my pregnancy. I was 95 pounds. <laughs> Don't judge. <laughs> I was 95 pounds when I started my pregnancy and I was just like, oh my God. My doctor was like, what the hell? I'm like, listen, I've been underweight all my life. That's just who I am. So right now I'm at 111. So I'm excited, but I guess it's all belly guys, literally. Cause I don't see, I don't see cheeks. I don't see nothing, but my belly's not too big. So I don't know. But I've gained a couple of weight and I need to gain more. My doctor said I needed to gain at least 30 to 35 pounds before baby comes. And I think I've gained, what is it? 20, um, 7, 10, like, like 12 pounds? <laughs> I've gained like less than half of what I need to gain. But I still have a, lot, a couple of more weeks to go. So I'm hoping that I can get there. So... Um, appetite wise has been like eh, going downhill I'm like ugh, I don't want to eat anything I'm starting to get a night um, acid reflex and it's like oh my god but I mean it is totally normal um what else what else what else um, did I oh you guys were asking me did I plan this pregnancy sort of in the back of our head yes we did plan it um, for some reason I got into the baby fever like my kids already grown and I'm like I don't have babies anymore and I started seeing all these people on Instagram and Facebook and friends of ours having babies and it's so cute and we knew that we were starting over because our kids are big our kids bathe themselves our kids brush their teeth themselves our kids make their own breakfast our kids go to bed by themselves our kids get dressed by themselves so our kids are grown we did understand that us starting we're literally starting all over again like like going back to sleepless nights and all that but I don't know, I guess I really wanted that third bit child and when I got married and I had my first one, I told God I wanted two more of them. 
and I guess um, once you speak something into existence and you speak something to God, God will definitely take it and run with it. And hey, you said you wanted your third child. Here it is. <laughs> so yeah, we kind of wanted it. We kind of planned. Well, I kind of wanted it. I kind of want to plan it. My husband was fine with it. My husband was like, yeah, that's fine. Let's go ahead and do it. If you want another child, I'm fine. We'll welcome it. We're all excited. We're all super excited. My kids ask me, my little one asks me, how many more days? How many more days? And I'm like, baby. We need to be patient. He needs to stay there as long as he needs to stay in there. So that was kind of cool. Um, I didn't have to use any, uh, what do you call it? Um, process. People ask me if I, I if I took any any uh, pills. If I took if we did any process into getting pregnant. No, we are just I guess truly blessed that we're both fer very fertile and fer fertile. Then we can have babies. <laughs> And when people ask me that, like people have said to me, oh, I've been trying for years and nothing happens. And I feel bad because I feel like here I have three and then I other I see people who have kids and they mistreat them and they kill them. And I'm here like, why Why can't someone that wants and, and, and desires a child doesn't have it? But I'm not God, I'm not here to see, tell you why you're probably going through that process. But all I have to say is honestly speaking, um, just hold on, have faith. Pray to God and find out what's what's His plan for your life. Because we we see sometimes we see like like what we have in front of us, like the moment, and we don't see what's behind that. We don't see what what's gonna come years from that. We don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. God knows what's gonna happen tomorrow. So I just have to tell you, honestly speaking, if you're going through that process of wanting a child for so long and you haven't been able to get pregnant, just kind of turn to God and ask God what's going on. You know because I know he will definitely answer you and I know that um, he will give you what's best for you and what's best for a child. So sometimes we have to um, trust God that, some, that maybe his plans are not our plans and our plans are not his plans. But like I said, he created us, he knows the end before the beginning. So there has to be a reason why you're probably going through that situation. And um, I just pray that you find peace in the middle of your, secret, of your situation. And I say it because I have people who, who've messaged me and said that they're going through that situation. So if you're that person, um, I just pray peace over your life and that God brings some sort of answer to your life as to why you're going through that situation. So um, no, we didn't use any for, for fertilization. We didn't use any of that. We were just truly blessed to be able to um, have kids, to be honest. Um, so, um, other than that, that's pretty much my update on my pregnancy. Um, I haven't been craving anything crazy, to be honest. I do want some ice creams now and then, but I'm lactose intolerant, so it's very hard for me to find a good ice cream. But anyway, anyways, let's go ahead and move on to my maternity essentials, things that I've been using, things that for me have been very, 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 very needed and has made my, my pregnancy transition a little bit easier. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is this book right here. It's what to expect when you're expecting. Um, I would say this is more for like first time moms because it gives you everything, guys, from when to get how to get pregnant like everything from before everything in between and everything after if you have twins if you have triplets if you're breastfeeding if you're formula feeding it gives you everything in here and i kind of um decided my sister-in-law gave it to me she was like listen because i i didn't know much about breast breastfeeding plant breast i didn't know much about the birth uh, plan like when you're giving birth you have some options and you have some things in the hospital that they need to respect and I didn't know that so a birth plan that's something that is very important guys I will definitely discuss that on my third trimester showing you guys a little bit of what my birth plan is because you have some you have some um what are, what are they called you got some rights in the hospital that they don't tell you you don't they don't tell you about it I am going to be in the hospital. I have a friend that wants me to do a home birth, but I'm like, no, I'm super, I, I'm a chicken head. So I'm like, no, I'm not doing a home birth. So, but this is a great book. If you're starting out, if you're a first time mom, um, if you're first time pregnant, this book is amazing. It literally answers every single question a pregnant woman has. I'm like, how did they know that we were gonna have that? Like. Everything is in here month by month what you should be feeling what your body what you're expecting your body to change everything is here So this is a great book. I mean it is the number one best-selling pregnancy book. So over 17 million copies sold So I highly recommend that you can get it anywhere you can get it at Walmart You can get it at books a million Amazon anywhere All right, 
The next thing is two apps that I've been obsessed with and I love them. Um, one of them is called Baby Center. I'll put it right here, what the app looks like. It's Baby Center, you put in um, your due date, you put everything of your information, and every week it sends you an email or it sends you a notification saying, hey, excuse me, hey, you're 22 weeks pregnant, and then it gives you like a breakdown of the whole entire week, like things to read, it gives you meal options, it gives you um, exercise option, it gives you everything. The app is amazing. And the other app that I like to use a lot is called The Bump. It also is kind of the same thing, and you kind of track your pregnancy and all that, and there's forums where you can speak to other moms and all that, so it's pretty cool. So, the other thing are, vitamins they're very important you really need your vitamins I'm gonna give you two different type of vitamins this one is a pretty much a vitamin um, derived from from pills and all that this is the nature's valley prenatal multi DHA uh, prenatal vitamin here we go it is great for DHA may support fatal fatal brain and eye development and this is great for women who are pregnant or trying to get pregnant and it has everything you need, like it's the complete nutrition. Then if you're more like a plant-based, you're gluten-free, vegan, and you want something more natural, then I recommend um, picking up the Rainbow Light Prenatal Vitamins. These ones right here are vegan and they are cruelty, they're vegan and they're gluten-free. Um, and they are, pl uh, they're pretty much derived from food. So this is more like a, like vitamin pills and then these ones have the vitamins derived from, from, from food. So they're completely raw, they're completely natural. And um, it has superfoods and probiotics, so it's, it's pretty cool. They're smaller than this one. This one's, <laughs> these pills are huge. Then the next thing my husband actually picked up for me and I've been trying I've been using them and they are amazing. They're called the Prego Pops. The Preggy, I'm sorry, Pe Preggy Prop Preggy Pop Drops. This is what they look like. Um, they come in a pop, but this ones are the drops. This ones are like the little um, candy suckers. This is what they look like. Okay, so they're natural, they're drug free, they contain vitamin B6. Hey Liv, we need all the vitamin, we, we need all the energy we can take. And it's doctor recommended. And these are uh, pretty much, they help you with like if you're nauseous or if you have morning sickness or whatever. These are amazing, they taste super, super good. You pick them, I picked them up at Target. Um, they're like I said, they're natural and they're just pretty much help you with morning sickness. I've been taking it more because uh, sometimes I want something sweet but I don't want the sugar on it. And also it contains vitamin B6, it gives you a little bit more of energy. So I thought that was pretty great. Um, so they come in pops or they come in the little drops and you can pick them up at Target. So the next thing is for the stretch marks. Um, Honestly, I haven't seen like my belly stretch so much, so I haven't been like into it. But I do have to recommend you getting um, oils or creams or lotions that are gonna help with your stretch marks. One of the best ones that I found has been the Cocoa Butter Formula, the Palmer's Stretch Marks um, Cream. This lotion you apply everywhere. It's free of mineral parabens and fatalities. <laughs> Um, it is dermatology approved with vitamin E, so it's pretty good for your stretch marks. You can apply it all over your body or whatever. Um, you can also apply oils, almond oil and jojoba oil mixed together. It's going to help you amazingly also. Um, but I recommend you getting something that is going to help you with stretch marks. Stretch marks in your boobs, stretch marks in your, in, your, in your belly area, stretch marks in your butt, and also in your thigh area. So, And of course, my water bottle. This has come in very handy, guys. Um, when you are pregnant, you have to, you the amount of water intake you have to take is ridiculous. So make sure you have a water bottle. Make sure you have something that is going to um, help you drink your water. And I like to use one that has like the the numbers of ounces of the bottle, so like that I kind of take track of how many water, how much water I drink. But guys, honestly speaking, all throughout pregnancy, you have to have a water bottle. You have to keep your water with you. You have to keep hydrating right now. My body's telling me to drink. This was my husband's gym water bottle, and I'm like, listen, I need it. Um, I can go and get me a more girly one, but I'm just like, whatever. It's a water bottle, and it, it is what it is. But you definitely need to have that water bottle with you. You need to hydrate. Okay, so now when it comes to 
clothes I don't want to do like a haul of clothes I just want to give you guys my essentials because I'm definitely give you a maternity um lookbook pretty soon I have a couple of outfits that I want to share with you guys because you're pregnant doesn't mean you have to break the bank and buy pregnancy outfits um, or look weird you can still look stylish and not break the bank but I am going to give you guys a little bit of what my of what essentials are throughout pregnancy I felt like my bras were not happening so I decided to pick up some sports bra I picked up two of these at Target they're super comfortable they are cut in sports bra um, and I love it because they come with a little bit of padding so your nipple doesn't show through or whatever so I picked these two up at uh, Target they have uh, different colors but I picked up this one which is like a, dark, a hunter green and a gray which is the one that I'm wearing now super comfortable they're not too um, like tight for you so I say that you should go with more of a sport bra let your boobs feel comfortable let your boobs feel like they can breathe and all that the next things are leggings guys I think you are going to live on leggings I have this leggings um, don't buy expensive leggings guys do not go to Target and get yourself these leggings that are 18 20 dollars that honestly speaking you might only use when you're just pregnant try to go to TJ Maxx Marshalls or any other stores and get leggings a little bit higher than your size so it gives you um, some space to grow so I picked this up at um where was this uh, for, oh, forever 21 I picked this leggings up at forever 21 guys they were three dollars look how tiny I know but they stretch they stretch good so they're gonna be stretched for a little bit on my belly and it was just three dollars guys so you can go to uh, forever 21 and pick them out they have a whole bunch and so pretty so leggings are definitely gonna be your best friend throughout pregnancy look at this see now if you don't want to spend a lot of money and also buying jeans um, because jeans pregnancy jeans can be very expensive I highly recommend using the jeans you have and just getting the the this little waistbands that you pick them up at Target I have them in white and black and this just pretty much goes on top of your pants all over your belly just like that you see and it covers the opening of your pants all the way to the top part of your belly and it looks like it's just a shirt that you have um, covering the pants and like that you don't have to spend 40 60 dollars on maternity pants that you know you're not going to use again so i highly recommend these um these are called the waistbands pregnancy waistbands and you can pick them up at target i picked up two white and black because normally that's what i'm wearing and then the other things are these shirts that i'm wearing they are maternity shirts i did pick them up at target i love that they're so they are super long let me see if i can show you they're super long and they don't have the seam on the side i don't like wearing the shirts that have seam on the side because i these shirts i can use them after maternity they're super long they're cotton they're super comfortable they're stretchy they're from isabel maternity and I picked up two colors. I picked up my black one that I'm wearing and I picked up gray. They have a whole bunch of colors, which I'm definitely going to show you other colors and other options when I do the maternity um, fashion video. And then of course, they also have these, um, these are the like tank tops. They have them in all colors. I picked up the white one. It's also long. They're super comfortable. And the awesome thing about these is that you can use them while you're pregnant and after you're pregnant. So try not to invest money on maternity clothes. There are clothes out there that you can wear on maternity and still wear after maternity. So, all right guys, so this concludes the video. This concludes my update and concludes my pregnancy essentials that I've been using that I say like, listen, this is our lifesavers because you can't really live without them, to be honest. So anyways, guys, if you liked the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you're pregnant, congratulations. Let me know in the comment section down below what number of pregnancy it is, what you're expecting, how many weeks you are, and what has been your essentials. I want to know. Thank you guys for your love. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys for sticking until the end. Muchos besos. I'll see you ladies on my following video. Adios.